It's not the winning, but the taking part that counts well for some competitors. From the stands, enthusiastic support from those who know just how far many have come. Scott Ferguson now works for the Forth Valley Recovery Community, but six years ago he was turning to them for help while in the grip of his addiction. I've lost two brothers to addiction, eh? eh I lost my older brother just about three years ago, and I couldn't try to support him. There was family members and old associates and friends that used to say to me, when my brother passed, Scott, we thought that would have been you. You know, I'd been on, on and off a methadone programme for 25, 26 years, and I thought that was my life, you know, and I thought that, and I thought, Believing in myself in the beginning was massive, you know, and it was that inspiration for seeing other people doing it and it gave me that wee oh, spark of life in me that maybe I could do that as well. This is the first time since the pandemic that this event could be held on this scale, with groups travelling from the borders and beyond to compete. Lorraine relapsed during lockdown. The connection she found within the group she attends in North Lanarkshire is helping her to make progress. I wouldn't have survived another relapse. I wouldn't survive another relapse. I, I nearly, it nearly killed me the last one, so I had enough was enough. Time to start living my life. I'm young enough, <laughs> so I time to start living. And this is my longest, longest time in recovery this time, but it's working this time. I wasn't ready before. I'm ready this time. I'm, I'm more than ready now. See, when you see the amount of people that it's going through the same as you, it's, it does, it gives you strength, makes it a bit easier. So many people in addiction are stigmatised, they're treated differently and they don't actually know that things like this exist, that you can come somewhere with your family and your friends and you can connect and have a great day and you can be substance free. I think with stuff like this and people in recovery being vocal and shown it's challenging stigma but it's not going to go away straight away and it's the issues of access and treatment and things like that, everything will take time but as long as we're out, we're vocal, we're showing that recovery is possible, it's just about making small changes every day. The drugs minister was there to show her support to competitors who are at different stages of their recovery. Those here today know tackling the country's addiction crisis is a marathon, not a sprint. Sharon Frew, STV News, Stirling.